Okay, so why don't you grab your learn book? We are going to be on page 31. And actually, I'm gonna want you to turn to page 35 first. You're gonna see a page like this, and it says cut this puzzle piece into seven pieces. So what I want you to do first is I want you to pause this video, cut this out, and color it, okay? And once you're done, then unpause, and then we'll go back to finish this page together, okay? All right, so now that you have it all cut out, um, it says you are going to identify the polygon, that's a fancy word for shape, labeled in the tangram as precisely as possible. So letter A looks like this. What shape is that? That's a triangle, right? Nice work. You can do your best on the spelling. The next one, letter B, is right here. This one has parallel lines. This one is called a parallelogram. The last one we want to know is about letter C. What is that? That's a square, right? Okay, so now you're going to be using some of these to help us with the um, problems on the bottom. So it says you can use the square and the smallest two triangles for our pieces here. So I've got my square and my two smallest triangles. So it says, I want to make a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel lines. Okay, so a quadrilateral is a four-sided figure and it should have two parallel lines. So what I want to do is if I go like this, Now, it looks like a trapezoid. A trapezoid has parallel lines, one right here and one right there. You can draw this on letter A. Then once you're done, we are gonna go on to letter B. It says we need to make a quadrilateral with no square corners, no square corners. Okay, so for this one, we've got a square corner over here. Why don't we try Actually, I thought we could leave that one there. We don't have any square corners now, right? That's perfect. So this one looks like a giant parallelogram, doesn't it? You would write it in just like that. Let's go on to letter C. Letter C says we need a quadrilateral with four square corners. Okay, so we wanted no square corners last time. I bet if we flip this around, how does that look? Does that look a little bit more like a rectangle with corners? So for this, when you draw it, draw yourself exactly what your shapes look like. Just like that. And your two triangles. Good. Okay, now the last one on letter D, it says a triangle with one square corner. Okay, so I'm gonna have that be my square corner and I bet if I go like this, I could make myself a triangle, just like that, right? And then to draw that, you would do a long line down, long line down this way, good. And then if you draw a square, it actually makes those triangles as well. Great work. All right. 
Let's go on to page 32 and see what we're gonna do next. Okay, so now you're on this page and it looks like we need the parallelogram. So we're gonna take this one away, grab your parallelogram and your two smallest triangles. Okay, so it says we need to make a quadrilateral, so four sides with a pair of parallel lines. Remember, the parallel lines go like this. So let's just think here. Hmm. I bet, how could we do this here? Could go like this. And then, I bet it could kind of be something like that. So we could make it look a little bit like a tent. Just like that. Good. Letter B says we need to make a quadrilateral with no square corners. So I wonder if we could go like this and like this. Then we wouldn't have any square corners, right? So we would draw it just like this. Just if you make your parallelogram in there, then you have your triangles. Good. Okay, the next one says a quadrilateral with four square corners. Well, I bet if I just kind of go like this instead, I'll have my four square corners. My parallelogram looks a little small, but that's okay. And it kind of makes a rectangle, doesn't it? If you just make your parallelogram in there. Perfect. Okay. And then the last one here says we need to make a triangle with one square corner. So let's see. Bet if we go like that, that could be my square corner up there. Then down here, we could go like that. So to make that, all I would do, go like this, and then make my parallelogram. Great job. Now on the bottom, it says rearrange the parallelogram and the two smallest triangles to make a hexagon. Do you remember how much a hexagon is? Six sides, right? Okay, so let's see. So far that was a triangle. That one's not gonna work. I wonder if I go like that and maybe like this. Let's see, how many do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, did we make it? It's a little tricky to draw. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then if you just draw your parallelogram in there, Those triangles will be there as well. Great work. Then it says, rearrange your tangram pieces to make 
other polygons. You wanna keep working with these? Perfect. Here's my challenge to at the end. See if you can get it back together how it looked at the beginning, okay? You can work on page, let's see if we have any other pages for you to do. Page 37 as well, it's your problem solver for today. And let me see if I can read it to you here. I'll cover up the answers. It says, Mrs. Librarian's students are picking up tangram pieces. They collect 13 parallelograms, 24 large triangles, 24 large tri small triangles, and 13 medium rectangles. The rest are squares. If they collect 97 in all, how many squares are there? All right, that's what you're gonna be working through today.